It's the beginning of the day at Panita Rama Forest Center. This gong is to be hit by the concerned reverend who is going to hit the gong to wake up all. the meditators heard the gong, they proceed to the meditation hall, then to the appropriate men's meditation hall and the ladies to the ladies meditation hall. The monks and the men together, they meditate in the men's meditation hall. They are proceeding to the meditation hall and to the early morning meditation. are proceeding to the double story ladies meditation hall. Start with the walking meditation. This is the men's meditation hall. As it is located in a very serene and quiet place, it is very conducive for all the meditators to meditate in a very peaceful manner. And they all came from all over the world, from both east and west. This 
Buddha stupa and the picture are in the ladies' meditation hall. After the walking meditation, now the ladies are taking the place and doing the sitting meditation. As the meditators came from both East and West, from England, from United States, Iceland, Canada, France, Germany, Poland, from the East, Thailand, India, Nepal, Singapore, Malaysia, and Taiwan, Cambodia, Korea, and Hong Kong. Now they are starting to chant the radiation of Nitta, radiation of loving kindness towards all the beings. At 5.15 a.m., after radiating their loving kindness towards all the beings, then the yogis or the meditators have to line up to proceed for the breakfast. Now what you are seeing is the monks and the gents coming off from the men's meditation hall. As they proceed to have the breakfast, the meditators have to walk mindfully as they pass through the greeneries and the very serene and quiet lane. While they are proceeding, the nuns and the ladies' yogis are waiting at a corner.
Now the monks and the gems meditators are passing a bridge near the Goda. This pagoda is located about halfway between the ladies and the men's tamaho. While the monks and the gents meditators are passing by, the nuns and the ladies meditators are waiting to join them. While they were standing, they were mindfully noting on the standing posture. This is the last gent meditator. As he proceeds, the nun is falling behind them. Now they have passed through the number one lake and the greeneries. They are very near to the dining hall. As they are mindfully proceeding, they have to line up at downstairs to till the gong pitch for the breakfast. The ladies in the kitchen are preparing everything to get ready when the yogis are lining up at upstairs. When the monks heard the gong, they went up to line up for the breakfast. There were two stairs at the dining hall. One is meant for the monks and the gents to go upstairs and the nuns and the ladies on the other side. As they proceed mindfully to the buffet set, the monks are proceeding to take their place on the raised platform. Now, before they start taking the food, they have to chant by radiating the loving kindness towards the offerer or the supporters, and they radiate the loving kindness towards the helpers who are giving service at the center.
Today, breakfast and lunch donated by UAE.KOMAKAI and family from Yango. May all rejoice this glorious day by saying Sadhu. This is the buffet system. As it is a buffet system, they can take the meal as they wish. In the Pandita Rama Meditation Center, the food are served both for the vegetarian and non-vegetarian. If any meditator wanted a second help, then he can come again and take his second helping. The buffet sets are displayed in two places. The monks on the raised platform were offered food and they are taking the meal mindfully. This is our Chief Abbot Ovarasariya Syara Upanita, who always inspects all the needs of the meditators and he always look after them with mita or loving kindness. Now is the rise of the sun. This is the symbol of Pandita Rama. What you are seeing now is the monks from Pandita Rama going to a small town named Indigo to collect food or alms for a short while. This is double story dining hall with the number one lake in front of it. This is the office. As one enters the Panditarama Forest Center, one has to register. This is the lady who came from England, and the lady with the spectacle is the management lady of Panditarama Forest Center. ตัวนี้ปาลงมาตรงสูงเลยอ่ะโอเคป่ะเนี่ยปีเรนปีบายอยู่ดีอ่ะเนาะจะมาลงมาเลยอ่ะเนาะตัวเตียสคันสุราป
ตาลุบาเลยโอเคจมารุก็จมารุสิยောက်ลาเลยยောกิดิอาลุบ่วยโกตาลุบาเลยเอียฉะนางกาวอ่ะสาบิถุบีบาเลยนอกรอมาซ
This is the Seymour Hall, and this is the highway, Rangoon Manly Highway. About 40 miles away from Rangoon, you have to corner it to the east where Panditarama Forest Centre is situated. You have to pass two miles. This is the plantation field where the fresh fruits are served for the needs of the meditators. This is the mango tree. When it ripes, they are served to the monks as well to the meditators. Not only the vegetables and small plants were planted at one corner, but also the big trees like durian, mango, pomeron, mangosteen were also planted on the other side for the long term sake. This is an interview room. This is the beer room where Siara Udamika or his pen name Samanejo is assessing the Thai monk. This is the French meditator reporting to Siara Upinya Sami from Australia. So there is an um, increasing tension and pressure and I feel like a pushing force from inside and um, sometimes um, also I feel pulsations and sometimes vibrations and sometimes heat and uh, sometimes painful spot here and there and then uh, it goes to a point when there is a, a hard, uh, big tension and uh, hardness and tightness. It is very simple as you are inside it, do not arise in falling carefully. Do close attention to it. If the noting mind could follow the movement closely, closely, then you can see the things clearly. Here, when I listen to yogis report, they mostly mention about the sensation. Yes, it is important to know the sensation, but it's not the main. The main is mindfulness. Hmm. Mindfulness is the key. If we are mindful to the object, we can see the things clearly. This is Kanko Mianxiara Usasa, who is giving guidelines and explanation how to go about in his meditation to the meditator. The interview section means it is a discussion room for the meditator and the teachers. This is the chief abbot of Warasriya Siaro taking interview or assessment to the yogi from Hawaii. This interpreter is reporting to Owara Sariya Siaro. So sometimes it remains in the background and can keep going with the rising, falling of the breath. So that's what I do. This is a Korean young meditator. And she is a Korean young nun who speaks Burmese as well as English, and she is reporting to the chief abbot Owara Sriya Siaro in Burmese. This is the lining up of the bhikkhu 
and we are proceeding to the eating place for lunch. Now as they pass through the greeneries and beside the number three lake in Panditarama Forest Center. Now they are passing. It is located on one side of the bridge. The bakers, the gentlemen yogis and the ladies are proceeding to the eating place. After the lunch, meditators have time to wash the clothes to take baths till 1 p.m. This is what you are seeing now, is for the elders or the people with disease or handicap. The helper send the different carrier to the lodge. This helper is sending a different and a flask with hot water to the Malaysian meditator. Now the monks and the meditators are resuming the meditation for the afternoon section. This is the Malaysian meditator who had been practicing this meditation since 20 years ago. He is always earnest to try his best in spite of his handicap. At 1 p.m., the meditators started with sitting meditation and in the men's meditation hall, the monks and the men alike continue the meditation in walking session from 2 to 3 p.m. The meditators start the afternoon session 
from 1 p.m. and from 1 to 2 p.m. we did the sitting meditation At 2.30 p.m., the lady meditators have to walk to the men's meditation hall to join them to listen the Dhamma preaching at 3 p.m. The nuns and the ladies meditators are approaching to the men's Dhamma hall and they took their seat. They took their seat, the nuns in front and the elders behind and the young, youngsters lay meditators in the last room. While they were sitting and waiting for the Dhamma preaching, both Bhikkhu, the gents and the ladies alike, they are concentrating in the sitting meditation. Now the chief abbot Owara Sri Asyaro is stepping down from his car to give the Dhamma preaching. This Dhamma preaching is conducted by Owara Sariya Siaro every day. After taking refuge to the Triple Gem and Eight Precepts, 
Ovara Sri Asyaro started Sotama preaching in Burmese. This is the interpreter who had been working with Ovara Siaro for 16 years and he translated paragraph by paragraph of Ovara Siaro's teaching in English. Now we come to the end of the Dhamma preaching at 4 p.m. Now is the time to serve the soft drinks in the afternoon. About 4.30 p.m. the meditators are served with soft drinks, fresh fruits were juice made into juice and soft drinks were served to all the meditators. Returning to the respective Dhamma hall and some to the rooms. This is the time from 4.30 to 6 p.m. is the time if a meditator like to continue one's meditation, one can dust his or her meditation in the Dhamma hall or if they want to take shower in the evening they could take shower but to return back to the Dhamma Hall at 6 p.m. After the sunset from 6 p.m. onwards till 9 p.m. the meditators have to meditate sitting, walking and sitting meditation alternately. At night time the meditators were allowed to use mosquito net for them to be able to have smooth concentration while they are meditating. Though the meditators have to meditate from 3 a.m. till 9 p.m., meditators were wholeheartedly meditating throughout the day. At 9 p.m. they were allowed to leave the Dhamma Hall and if some meditators there is an option if they want to continue their meditation they can continue the meditation in their respective rooms till 11 p.m. or if they like to go to bed at 9 p.m. they were allowed to do so. However the meditators have been meditating throughout the day but they have spent long time in this intensive meditation just to have a glimpse of the attitude to the Dhamma you can listen to the voice from the meditators. My name is uh, Dhamma Chakka I, uh, I was born in Vietnam and I live in United States since 1979. In year 2000, I came to Saint Mangan to uh, join a retreat for two months, and then uh, this is the second time I came back. Uh, to, uh, and then uh, after that, I stayed throughout uh, 14 months up to now. Is uh, 
I've been here for 14 months. So are you going to be a Beku lifelong? Uh, I would like um, to stay in this group uh, for the rest of my life to serve uh, the, the Buddha Sasana. My name is Pia Vanini. I am from Nepal. Nepal. Uh, how old are you? I am 13 years old. 13 years old. Yes. So what makes you come to join the Sasana? And why did you make this commitment as a nun? Because uh, I like Dhamma mm -hmm. and I want to do something for the Dhamma. Is it on your own or is there any persuasive from your other people? Um, uh, other people uh, give me chance. My uh, aim to be non. Non? Yes. Oh, my name is Fong Chung Man and I'm from Malaysia. Uh, Mr. Fong, how long you have been in this meditation? I started in 1979 but only take it up seriously in uh, 1982. Why did you commit so much in the commitment of this uh, city Bitana practice? And is there any benefit by practicing so often? Yes, because uh, the Buddha says that through this practice, one can gain uh, liberation from suffering forever. And uh, as I'm still uh, within samsara, and my next birth, I may not be a Buddhist. So there's a danger that I may go down in the fire. So you want to liberate yourself? Yes. From suffering state. So, uh, so you, how long you will be staying here for this retreat? I'll be here until the first of February. That's all right. Right. And is there anything uh, to give inspiration to any other outsiders? Oh uh, yes. Any uh, opinion? It is a rare opportunity to be born as a human being in the Buddha Sasana. So, if we do not take the opportunity to strive for liberation, we will be a Buddhist. Thank you very much. This is Ma Chanda Soba. Ma Chanda Soba. Mm -hmm. So, uh, where you come from? You're I come from France. So you are born in France? I was um, Vietnamese origin, but I was born in France. You are born in France. And how old are you? I'm 28. 28. 28. And what makes you be a nun? Um, a lot of things. Enjoying the Dharma and expressing my full commitment to the Dharma. Uh, I have been practicing as a lay people uh, previously for uh, like more than one year and um, having short retreats in France before. And I find that the Dharma was very meaningful in my life. I wanted to, to, be, to be it for the Dharma entirely. And uh, if I can do it as a nun, I will be happy. And I would say that as long as I'm happy, I will do it. Okay. Yes, my name is Hartmut von Bobert. I come from Germany. Yeah. Are you a Buddhist? Um, yes, I'm a Buddhist. You're a Buddhist? Yes. How long you have been Buddhist? Since what time? Um, Buddhist means when you take um, Yes. Yes. Since it was um, 1998. 1998. Yes. Since the time you were a Buddhist. So how long you have been practicing this uh, mindfulness practice? Um, since um, Satipatthana Vipassana meditation, I started also in 1998 with a course of Pujanaka in Germany. And did you find any um, within fees or any favor from this tomorrow? Yes, uh, there is no doubt about, about, about this. Um, I found out before I started meditation, I was um, very unmindful, and I found out meditation is helpful to become clear in mind, little by little. It takes time, and also I found uh, stable um, stable happiness and then more balanced mind. You become more balanced? Yes. So you found yourself more better and balanced person? Yes, um, I become aware. Um, all mistakes I did in the past with actions 
speak and mental, the cause was um, unmindfulness. And so I make the decision, I have to become more mindful and was looking for a method. And I found out um, the Satipatthana Vipassana meditation is very, very helpful to progress in um, mindfulness and also in the other mental faculties. Uh. Do you like to say any or send a message to the outsiders who have not yet come in touch with this? Oh, yes, um, I would say try by yourself. <laughs> uh, you have to taste it through your own experience and you will know it. Very, it's very good, but you have to try it by yourself. <laughs> That's right.